Embryo fetoscopy followed by hysteroscopic evacuation of a first trimester missed abortion in a woman with septate uterus. Fifteen percent of pregnant women experience pregnancy loss during the first trimester. Abnormal embryonic karyotype is the leading cause of spontaneous miscarriage during the first trimester. Embryophotoscopy with selective tissue biopsy allows to obtain a more accurate cytogenetic evaluation of the embryo. Suction DNC is associated with several complications, including uterine perforation, retained product of conception, and intrauterine adhesion formations. These complications are more frequent in patients with congenital uterine anomalies. For example, we present the case of a 38-year-old woman with a history of three first trimester pregnancy losses, all treated with dilation and curettage. She desired future fertility. During the ultrasound examination, it was noted that the endometrial lining was interrupted and did not reach the uterine fundus. The hysteroscopic examination revealed dense uterine adhesions occupying the uterine cavity, preventing the visualization of the tubal ostium. We then perform a visualizes until complete visualization of the uterine cavity and bilateral tubal ostions was achieved. The objective of this video article is to describe the use of a combination of embryophytoscopy performed with five French miniaturized instruments with target evacuation of the gestational sac followed by visual DNC for the diagnosis and management of first trimester missed abortion in a patient with uterine septum. We report the case of a 32-year-old patient with the diagnosis of missed abortion and seven weeks of gestation. During the 2D transvaginal ultrasound, the presence of a urine septum was suspected. The presence of a urine septum was confirmed with 3D ultrasound, a class U2A uterus according to the ESHRE-ESGE classification was diagnosed, and a gestational sac with a visible embryo with absent cardiac activity was seen in the left emic cavity. Diagnostic hysteroscopy on the regional anesthesia was performed using a 5 mm continuous flow hysteroscope with a 30 degree optic. Upon entering the uterine cavity, a partial septum arising from the uterine fundus and extending down to the lower third of the uterine cavity was noted. The gestational sac was identified in the left emic cavity. The right emic cavity of the uterus was noted to be empty. Using the five French twizzle bipolar device, the gestational sac is open and the diagnostic hysteroscope is advanced inside the gestational sac. The embryo is clearly visualized. Using the hysteroscopic grasper, the embryo is grabbed and easily removed, avoiding contamination with maternal tissue. Also, chorionic villi are removed from the direct visualization, avoiding contamination by the surrounding tissue. The 6 mm tissue retrieval system is also introduced into the urine cavity using the vaginoscopy not touch technique. Selective removal of product of conception is performed under direct visualization, avoiding damage of the surrounding tissues. Note how the direct visualization of the uterine cavity allows the removal of the product of conception selectively, avoiding the unnecessary curettage of areas where product of conceptions are not implanted. Ultrasound guidance can be used as a safety precaution especially when removing products of conception that are located in difficult-to-reach areas. A post-procedure ultrasound confirmed the presence of an empty uterus. 
it was determined that further evaluation of the septum was needed before proceeding with hysteroscopic metroplasty. How to minimize bleeding during a hysteroscopic procedure? Here are some suggestions. 1. Use of adequate intrauterine pressure using an automatic fluid management system. 2. Adequate placement of the tissue removal device. Take advantage of the aspiration system by positioning the blade against pathology, avoiding excessive suctioning that decreases the intrauterine pressure. 3. Cervical injections of vasopressin. It significantly decreases surgical bleeding, but it is associated with side effects. 4. Selective coagulation of active bleeders. Embryophotoscopy with miniaturized instruments allows selective targeting of trophoblastic and fetal tissue, avoiding the risk of maternal tissue contamination of the specimen. As reported in the literature, the visual DNC using tissue retrieval system is a safe and innovative alternative for the treatment of early pregnancy loss. Compared to the hysteroscopic resection, Tissue retrieval devices offer the advantage of not requiring cervical dilation and not involving the use of electrosurgery, thus reducing damage to the uterine cavity. The combination of embryophotoscopy with visual DNC offers several advantages, especially in patients with congenital uterine anomalies in which performing a blind DNC has a higher risk of complications.